Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will continue working with the recurring tasks built on Excel that I've been working on. I have added two tables, one with the tasks and one with templates for those tasks and the intervals when they should be recurring. And also I've done a quite explicit script that we should see over here. Let's see, all scripts. Here's my script there. And that script now we're going to edit so that we can add a unique ID for every task. And that's something we're going to need for the next step in this demo series. And that is when we're going to build a, a power app that connects to this Excel spreadsheet. Next thing we're going to do is add another column here with a unique ID. Of course, the title will not do it because we might have duplicates there. We will have duplicates there. So I'm just going to add a new column. Let's make sure that that becomes part of the table. So I'm selecting inside the table, inserting a table column to the left, and I'm just going to call that ID. And for the existing ones that I have, I'm just going to call them one and two. And then I'm going to modify the script so that it adds the ID column here also and invents a number there that we can use as a unique ID. Before we were using three columns. Now we're going to use four. So there's an ID there also. Let's clear these out. Actually, we don't need that now. Anyhow, so the status of those should be blank because they're not done yet. Let's go into edit and here we go. On the add as tasks method here of the template class, I'm going to add another column. Here you see it's adding a row with three columns, which is what we had before, one, two, three. Now we're gonna add number four and that's gonna be here. Let's see, there's, there's gonna be a comma there before the, uh, the first one and that's gonna be new date get time. That's going to give me the exact millisecond when the script was run, which is going to be good enough for an ID in our case. So let's try it. As you see, we have two templates here that are interval that the next instance is going to be today. So when I run this script now, it's going to work and it's going to add those two new ones with an ID. Seems to have done its work already. Yes. As, and as you see, we did get new IDs here just to make sure that these are indeed unique ones. I'm going to check the number here, make that a number format without decimals. And yes, you see they're unique numbers. Great. So now we have two new tasks being created. And just to make sure uh, I had some problems in the past, I'm going to remove this button here and just cut it. And then I'm going to insert the script again, just to make sure it's not catching anything. So let's add in the workbook. And now I've managed to click it. I need to right click to actually select it first. There we go. So and I did it twice, but anyhow, edit text, add tasks. There we go. And this one I can remove, cut that one. So now we're back to that and it's still running, but that shouldn't create any new tasks, of course, because all the tasks are due in the future now. So now we have added a um, ID column and we modified the script so that it adds that extra column based on the current millisecond. So that's it for this demo. In the next one, we'll go in and create a power app. And that's why we did this ID. Thank you for watching this demonstration.